Alright, it's time to get serious. It's possibly the world's best throwing light through night. This, are, this is the TN42 V2, the upgraded model of the original TN42. This booger right here is 4,848 lumens and has this thinking throw of 1,860 meters. And that's awesome because that's over 2,000 yards. And what I got is a little pink cast iron pan right there-ish, if you can see it. And that's about 150 yards. The far corner is about 300 yards. The uh, tower on the hill is a mile. So theoretically, this thing should throw a beam to that pole up there if my mathematics is correct which they're probably not you do the conversions if you need to so i'll show you these at night but let's look at them in the day right now now i forgot to tell you the tn42 is 2500 lumens that's about 750 meters throw is what this beast is saying it'll do this is the big one with 1860 meter throw and you can see the little uh the led do flotsy in the middle and that one is of course much smaller this one takes a different battery as this one takes a different battery but i will put the links to both on these and that is a full throttle in the daytime and believe it or not that right there i will show you goes way out there i'm impressed very impressed with that beast one of my favorite thing about these lights is you can just plug them up and recharge this one takes a standard uh plug like a uh i have no fingernail right there like an android phone and this one is the similar but i cannot find it i'm wrong this one you need an external charger as well as batteries you have to take out and they sit in little i'll show you wait right there hold on you don't have to go anywhere i have the world's worst cold right now but don't let that bother you just don't lick my keyboard or my mouse if you swing by so the batteries go in here they go back in there and it goes back on the end all this is metal and it's awesome this one i like better because it's simply plug and play so you can keep it plugged up into your wagon if you must these batteries, on the other hand, simply drop in one at a time. They're all 4,000. Oh my goodness, my coach killed me, MAH. And they're pretty stinking awesome. Oh my goodness. I'm hurting. I would make this a whole lot more entertaining like I usually don't. I can't even read it. So look at it, 48, 48. Here's, here's what's impressive. The lumens over 4,000, almost 5,000 lumens is impressive. But this joker should run on a, for 180 days on Firefly. It's almost like match light, except it throws a little beam, which is awesome. And it'll run three, eight, uh, three hours on the long. So that's your choice, that's your choice. Like I say, the links will be there. Let's move on, look at the night vision and then move on and do something else. So let's test. I'm long pressing side button the switch to get it on Firefly. 180 days it will run on Firefly. There it is on the ground. You can see it's just kind of a dot. So let's get down here out of the big light. And we've got almost 500 yards across the field, but this thing It will go 4,848 lumens at 1,860 meters. And depending on what you Google, that's 6,000 plus feet. A whole lot more than 500 yards. So there's uh, stage one. Not getting any activity here. Hold on. Cycling back to the beginning. Two, three. And then you, to get the, uh, <laughs> it's so cold out here. And that's pretty far. What is that? We need a good clear night for you to see this. But that right there in the treetops. Look at 
I gotta find a better spot. But this might be as good as it gets. This is by far the biggest, broadest throw in a light, searchlight, that I have seen. Absolutely incredible. I've got one that mounts to a, uh, and there's the smallest beam that mounts to the rail of a 3030. But this one is a most absolutely impressive throw. Now compared to the standard, that, that was the uh, TN42 V2. So I'm not comparing it to the, okay, hang on, high beam, farthest throw, TN42 V2. Compared to standard, let me swap it up, TN42 uh <laughs> it's regular tn42 all right there's high beam on it pretty impressive and it goes far that's treetops again that's as high as it gets we got a cloudy night which is not doing us any good all right let's go back to tn42 v2 full power hang on there it is it's almost like you could sit on that joker and walk out through there. Now this is considered a search and rescue light. And you can look at the side beam if you can see it. It is unbelievable. You can see all the stuff you're breathing in. You're actually not breathing any of it in. I'm impressed, I have to admit it. Okay, before we go do something else, I put this on Instagram. <clears throat> Somebody called out the John Deere key quick. They said this is a pot pipe with a glass insert. I did not know. It is. That is glass. See? Oh, it is. And there's the bottom of it. Huh. You bunch of... It's got a honeybee on it. I know. That's what threw me off. I thought it was a kid's toy. <laughs> then I thought other horrible things. And then I thought, no. Then I thought it was a magnifying glass, but yet I couldn't see through it. Now here's the bird thing. You've probably seen it in another video. You Maybe you haven't yet because I haven't put it out yet. And uh, I don't know, that goes on the cats. I usually put it on them when they're bad and they need to be punished. I stick that on them. I'm just kidding. So now let's do what we do worse. Go look for arrowheads. You gotta follow the green grass road. Follow the green grass road. over there to the left of the screen in the top right now that's where the pan is 150 yards and then the far left corner is the one that's 300 yards so after the last storms this thing has gotten majorly shallow for a long ways which is kind of cool so i'm hoping there's some fresh stuff because you can see i'll show you come on all the uh, all the green moss that was growing on everything for sitting so long got moved and churned. So here we go. Now as clear as it is, there ought to be an arrowed head poking out here in a minute. I don't have your glasses on because it's a it's a hair overcast. But I think you can see we'll go down here and start. I don't know where the bricks are coming from. They probably come from either a brick mason's house or something else. I don't know why I always go down the start coming back up. You remember it did not look like this when we let old snapper go. Have I shown you that video yet? I don't even know. So let's look for arid heads. If they trick you, you throw them out so you don't ever have to deal with that again. Huh, it's like popping your back in it. This is where the uh, the lampreys were on the bank. 
funny thing. She has never found one. Like ever. Like never. Ever. But today it's your turn. It is my turn. Oh, I meant to bring our grabber so you wouldn't have to okay. walk like an Egyptian. Now that's stuck in your head for the rest of your life. She's still diligently searching, and I think I see one. Okay, let me find it. Okay, come over here then. You see the big, the biggest rock? Mm hmm It's this side of it. Okay, let me find <laughs> it. Oh, you want to find it yourself? Yes. Let me find it. What about you? It is. Let me find one. Oh, wait. There's another one. That's not one. Oh, that was it. Let's see. This is not an airhead. It's a magnificent specimen of stone. My face is covered in bugs. Are you having a bug situation? I'm still uh, fighting this. This is cold. So what you do is just stroll up and you start looking. And you start looking. And you start looking. This is a how-to. All you gotta do is look start looking and then sometimes they're there and most of the time they're not and it looks like this time they're not so that white piece right there is not I thought that was a brick I see there a guide to a plow for the plugs in my face or not Paro Horrible. So far, still none. That's clay. Know what you're thinking? I'm going too fast. Look at this little. Itsy bitsy teeny tiny turtle. Come here, darling. Look at this little itty bitty. Hey. Look how little. That's probably one of the smallest I ever picked up. Oh, he's trying to hide. You could swallow that with a little shot of sugar. That was sitting on a. Well, a rock. Oh, that's tiny, isn't it? She's yeah. sporting her Auburn wear because that's where uh, my oldest squirrel's gonna go. Are you gonna capture the moment? Mm -hmm. Mom, I don't take my code chrome. It's interesting. I, I believe it's a, a snapping turtle. It's a little high back home record right there. That orange on my hand is from that plow. Isn't it tiny? Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, so we got to figure out where we're going to put it. I'm going to put it on the side. I know I should probably put it back where I got it, but. I'm going to take it. There you go. You're free. It's your first time in your life you've ever been picked up, probably. That's so cool. You know, I suppose it could have been a musk turtle. I don't know. I've never seen them that small. I've never seen a turtle that small. Even the ones we hatched out weren't that small. They were much bigger than that. So far. Nothing. Is it still sitting there? I can't stand it. It's so much more fun than arrowheads. I mean, think about it. Would you rather find that or an arrowhead? That is a musk turtle. I can tell by the, the spots on it. And it's digging up. Go, little musky. Hey, little fella. I'm about 99% sure 
It's a musk turtle. I'm not gonna hurt you. I could be wrong. The old beak looks like a uh, something else. It's digging a tunnel. I'm just thinking I gotta get out of here. I'm sorry, I'm just sitting here pointing this camera at that thing. It's just so cool. I think it was a musk turtle. Every time I point this camera at you, you get your hiding in the air. Sorry, everybody. Huh? Huh? Okay. Here. Okay, I'm gonna go. Over here, he hasn't found any yet. Here, Junior's gonna have a fit. He's not at the base camp yet. Yeah, that's like a little bird point, but it's not. This has been about 10 minutes. I can't stand it. I want to see where the turtle is. I forget where I put it though. Oh, I see where I put you, Apollo. What are you doing? Trying to find a spot? There you go. What is that, a damselfly? A little four wing thing. We almost got it. The cow lost it. We can't figure out where it wants to go. Here, come down here. Come here. I got it. <laughs> oh, it does bite. I almost got my face. Hey, it's still there. Little fella. He's trying to grip on. I wonder if he knows if I just turn right that I can climb the bank. Oh, he's digging a hole. Dig a tunnel, dig, dig a tunnel. That's why I think it's a musk turtle. Those jokers will bury up. And they'll sit in one spot so long that they get the green, green grass of home on their back. And, uh... Ah, that had so much potential to be or not to be. Anything? She found one a minute ago, like a bicycle seat. Definitely. Looks like a piece of one. No, hey. really? Yeah, it does. It looks like it's been worked on that side and that side a little bit, but it's like it either chipped in half or when it got used, it broke. That is the end of one. It's broke off. See so here it's worked right there and right there and it's chipped. I just happened to see that. So there's two pieces. I can say I've only found in what five years, I've only found what two here. No, four maybe, about four. But I just can't give up. Do I get enough? Keep on. Do you really think that's one? Or are you just being nice? No, I'm not being nice. Uh, you can see where it's been napped up through there. And definitely on that side, but it looks like it chipped, and that's what like it was starting to be napped. Why not spin nice? I'm never nice to you. <laughs> <laughs> if that was a rock and not that, that would be impressive, wouldn't it? You would think, oh my goodness, what did he just find? And then I broke it with my thumb. Look underneath that is that. See, that looks like a definite. That was worked up that side. Look at this one, darling. That was right under one goofy one I just picked up. See how this looks been napped on yeah, one so side? Yes, I can see that one. And that side looks like it just slap broke off and it's been split. You no, want it or no. you're mad? No, I don't want it in my side. See, there's it's another, see real. this little white one poking out right here? That's nothing but a, uh, a rock. I got a horse fly. It keeps landing on me. So what you do is you take this and swing it over your head. Cause your hands can't ever hit a horse fly. 
but you just sling this all around your head and eventually you slap it enough and it goes now that's got some serious oh. no it's not but but it should have been right she said she wanted to find a pink one Not about another 10 minutes have gone by. I can't stand it. Let's see if my little friend's still over here. Oh yeah, digging a nice little hole. We'll sneak up to right there. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So we're about an hour into this. I've had enough. She's still picking up pawpaws and putting them in her pocket. You found anything? No. There's so many possibilities. So little time. You know what I've never done? This metal detected this creek. This is a Flintstones currency. What is that? Those are balls of clay. I don't know how they get complete sitting on top. But it's interesting, isn't it? There's another one. They're either balls of clay or there's a horse upstream. I don't think there's a horse upstream because this goes straight into the woods into Never Never Land. And believe me, I've been to the mountain that pours out of. You see that mountain over there? One of these days. Oh yeah, see if you can finish it. Look at that. There's got to be another arrow ahead in here. I know this is not the video you were hoping for. Me either. But we did get to see the world's coolest tiny musk turtle. We've hatched snapping turtles. We've hatched yellow-bellied sliders. But never musk turtles. But they're a small turtle anyway. So maybe that's one of the little... Infantiles are so small. You done? <laughs> Man, this giant. Oh, we already picked that up, didn't we? No, I did because I had that one little freshwater snail on it. I guess we're done. I gotta go. You ready to go, darling? Okay, we're done. Thanks for watching our videos. I'll put the uh, link to those lights on there if you have a great interest in paying a lot of money for a flashlight they're cool but they are heavy and cumbersome isn't that a song cumbersome hello hello vienna calling i thought i saw something okay i'm done i'm done thanks for watching our videos